decided to go into oncology for several reasons. One was it was uh, made the decision back in the uh, mid '80s, um, and at that time, new pathophysiology, new understanding of the cause of cancer was coming to the forefront. Um, the understanding that genetic mutations were causing the disease, and that opened up a whole new avenue for research, um, so that we could start developing treatments specifically against these genetic abnormalities. And that's where we are now with what we call molecularly targeted therapy. So that, uh, at that time, it was cutting edge type of science um, that got me involved. And then I went into the clinics and started taking care of some of the patients with, with cancer and realized that they were a very uh, appreciative group uh, of patients and it was very satisfying to try and help them through their journey. Well, I think it's, it's very important for patients to take an active role in their care. Um, I tell all of my patients uh, with cancer that there are several things that they can do to help themselves. They can eat, they can drink plenty of fluids, and they can remain active. Um, on top of that, I think it's important for them to want to understand what's going on. Um, not only what's going on with their body, but also what's going on with regard to the potential treatments that we have available for them. Because there's no one-size-fits-all and there's no right treatment for every patient. It's really got to be something that's tailored towards the individual based on what they want to achieve and what we want to achieve in trying to help them.